I'm going to go ahead and move right along so that we can stay on schedule here, so that we can respect everybody's time in the future presentations and talk about this new initiative at the Internet Society. So, internally, this new initiative at ISI is called the Deployment and Operationalization Hub. It's probably not going to be called that when we deploy this next month, but internally that's what we're calling it. What we're doing is we're working with the first adopter community to leverage their knowledge of new technology deployments and create resources that are easy to understand and quickly actionable by the greater operations community. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be working with two separate communities. The community that's already deployed IPv6, DNSSEC, and in the future RPKI and other new standards. I know it's strange to call IPv6 new, but to a lot of people in this room it probably is new because you haven't deployed it yet. But we're going to be working with those first adopters to leverage their knowledge of deployment and create material that everyone else can use to follow them and get their deployments done. So we'll be actively engaging this community that needs the information to determine what their requirements are. And once we determine what those requirements are on an ongoing basis, we'll work with first adopters, leverage Internet Society's relationship with them to create the resources that you need to go out and make deployments. But that's a simple explanation of what it is that we're doing with this initiative. And here's uh, some of the things that we're going to be doing to start with. It's going to be very narrowly focused at the beginning. And what we'll be doing is helping people do IPv6 and help people do DNSSEC. In the future, we'll add other things because we're going to be flexible. In the future, we might cover RPKI, but there are other things that people might be interested in having us cover, and we'll cover those things too. But at first, it's going to be v 6 and DNSSEC. This is what the initiative is going to look like. We're going to have online portals for new standards adoption, covering the topics that I've described. We're going to have a knowledge base with deployment articles there, where you can go find information about deployment. You can do a keyword search on something that it is you're trying to do, and actually find the resources that are available there. We're going to feature case studies. We're going to be talking to people around the globe that have already deployed, and we're going to create case studies with them and publish these things for everyone to see and for everyone to use. So for instance, if you're a web hosting organization, and you're interested in knowing exactly what some other web hosting organization did to make themselves ready for IPv6, and make their customers ready for IPv6, we'll have case studies available for you to look at and see that. And if you're a different type of organization, we hope to have those types of case studies there for you too. We're going to be blogging about deployment. We're going to be engaged in the community in an ongoing commentary about deployment. So a lot of you in the room are, are probably familiar with going to an event like this one and having a conversation as a group about deployment or what it is that we need to do with IPv6, DNSSEC, and other new standards and technologies. And then we go away back to our offices. And then there's another meeting four months down the road. Between those two times, there's not a whole lot of conversation. There's not a whole lot of discussion that's going on. Maybe you're on a mailing list, and that's wonderful. But for those of you who aren't, there's not a whole lot going on. And then you get to the event four months later, and the conversation starts all over again. And you kind of pick up where you left off. What we're going to try to do with this effort is kind of fill that hole and keep the conversation going all year long. And we're going to be featuring the work of other people, talking about what people are doing around the globe with deployments. We're going to be constantly engaged with social media. We're going to be blogging about things. We're going to be bringing guest blogs in to talk about what they're doing with deployment and all of those things. And we're also going to be translating these resources into several different languages. We'll likely be going with the UN6 languages, but most of what's out there today when it comes to deployment information is in English. And there's not a whole lot out there in other languages. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to open that up and we're going to cover this topic space in other languages so other people have access to the resource. Now we're not going to go reinvent the wheel. There are a lot of wonderful resources out there already for v6 and DNSSEC. We are going to feature those resources from the Internet Society. We're going to point everyone in the direction of those resources. Where there are holes and something doesn't exist, we are going to create those resources and we're going to publish them from these portals. And this is going to be a free and open resource so that anyone can come and get the information. So from this resource, you'll have the benefit of seeing everything that's already out there collected in this one location and having all those holes filled 
with the resources that we create as the Internet Society with the first adopter community. And we'll be relying on you to let us know what those holes are so that we can go create those resources. Now, when it comes to the resources that we do feature, we're not going to feature everything. I mean, <coughs> V6, for instance, there are some things that were done in 2001, 2002 that aren't current, that aren't relevant, that might not be helpful to someone that's going to deploy V6 today. So what we're going to do is put together a resource review uh, group, and they're going to look at all the resources that we put up on this web portal and make sure that they're current and up to date. And we won't feature anything else that's not, that's not recommended, recommended by this group. And we've got a uh, charter set for this group, and we're going to be putting a call out inside the next month for that as we deploy this resource. And we're also going to be doing this ION meeting series. This is the second co-located ION event that we've done. Last month, we co-located with the LACNOG, the Latin American Caribbean Network Operators Group, and the LACNIC meeting. And we had a, a similar group here uh, at that meeting last time, and we talked about deployment. And this is our second event, and we're going to be doing four of those next year. Great. So we do have a uh, soft launch of this resource out there right now, so you can have an idea of what it looks like. Go to isoc.org slash do, you will see what we have out there right now. In December of this year, next month, we're officially launching this resource. And we're doing this ahead of some very big events that are taking place inside of the industry. For instance, we're going to feature this resource at the Consumer Electronics Show, where we've been working with the Consumer Electronics Association and some other organizations to deliver some information about putting V6 in consumer electronic devices. And there are some other events where we'll be featuring this, but we're deploying this next month. This is what it looks like on the surface, and you can get a feel for what we're doing. Over the next month, what we're doing is we're populating this with content. If you have any comments about what we can put here or how we might structure this differently, we'd be glad to take those comments from you so we can improve this on launch, and we'll certainly be flexible after we launch this as well. So how will the do hold grow? So we'll continually be adding new articles. This isn't something that we're going to stand up and pay attention for two months and then walk away from it. The Internet Society has actually brought on a staff of individuals to pay care and feeding to this resource specifically. This will be a going interest for the Internet Society in the coming years. We will constantly be updating the content. We will be taking things away that are no longer relevant. And we'll be responding to your needs. So for instance, if we get feedback from you in this room today that resources X, Y, and Z are needed for you to go out and deploy, we will immediately get to work on those things, and we'll come around next, next time we're in the area, or we'll feed back to a mailing list in the area and let you know that those have been created and those have been published. We're going to be engaging in this ongoing conversation. Again, we're going to feature the work of other groups. So with this resource, we're not afraid to actually point out the work that other people are doing. We'll, in addition to pointing out their work and featuring their work, We'll be featuring uh, consulting organizations, training houses, and other groups that are out there that can help you. So even though this resource is there, and you can see all of these things, you may still need additional information to get you going. So for instance, if you're the technical person inside your organization that's responsible for this, you may know exactly what it is that you need to do. But there may be an executive in your organization that wants that extra added little piece of confidence that nothing's going to blow up when you go hit send on this, when you do this. And so what they'll often do is they'll ask you to go out and find someone to come in and do a peer review of your work or to help you with what you're doing, and we'll be featuring those types of organizations as well. And we will continually be adding new features to this deployment resource as we get feedback from you. So how do you participate in this? You can go visit and explore what we have out there right now. It's, there's not a lot of content there now. What we're doing over the next month is filling that, and after deployment, we'll continually be adding content to this. You can help create content. So if you're one of those organizations that we described as a first adopter organization and you're interested in helping us out with the creation of content, we'd be very interested in talking to you about that. And what we certainly will do is credit <coughs> people's work. So if we do create new content with you and we put this up on the Internet Society site, we will credit you as an individual, if that's what you prefer, or as an organization for creating the content. So you'll have your name there, or you'll have your organization name there, is creating this content, we'll be translating it into other languages, and other people will see your name there. 
If you're not a first adopter, if you're not someone that wants to help create content, you can help us define new features of this resource. So if you know there are things that you need to move forward or that your peers need to move forward, you can just send email to us at dohub at isoc.org and we will start working on that and we will do everything we can to put that in there in a timely manner to make sure it's available to you. So that's a description of this new resource. I think I have a few minutes left before we move to the next presentation, the panel. But I'd like to know if you guys have any questions. Are there any questions that I can answer about this resource for you before we move on to the panel? Yes, sir. How do you intend to <clears throat> publicize the existence of this portal? Is this going to be easy to do, or is that going to be a, a challenge? Uh, publicizing anything new like that's a challenge. It certainly is. So we're putting together the resource. We're officially launching it. In the official launch, we'll be doing press releases. We'll be reaching out to operator groups like this one. We will be uh, heavily engaging in the social media space, and we'll be reaching out to our press contacts, our technical press contacts that we know that cover this type of story, and we'll be looking to get things published there. So basically, we'll be reaching out to as many people as we can and yell as loud as we can about the resource and get it out there. We expect it'll take a little bit of time for people to realize the resource is there, and I think one of the features that people are going to appreciate, at least in other regions, is that it's going to be translated into these other languages. And we think it will gain momentum. We've already started working with people in the industry that are engaged in this space already to let them know that we're not create, recreating something that you've already done. We're just featuring what you've already done. And we're filling the holes. And we've, uh, we've gained some pretty good partnerships that way. And we expect that people will help promote it uh, from that angle, too. Any other questions about this resource? Any suggestions uh, before we get to the end of the show where you actually write them down on a piece of paper that you'd like to hand out now? If not, please send email to dohub at isoc.org and uh, we'll get to work.